What you see here is a pond, a controlled pile of water composed by man. But what happens when this water comes out of control, where perhaps it goes where it's not meant to go? I'm currently in the Barnard's garden, and I'm going to show you the effects of flooding in Warwick. Now, I've just pushed open my back gate, and as you can see, I appear to be standing in a lake. Well, this used to be a grassy plain over here, and the river is actually over there by that tree. So what you're seeing is that the river has broken its banks and has travelled all the way up to the house. Here, we have several properties along here. Now it is said that nearly 800,000 homes have been affected in some way or the other by the flooding. The river level at Warwick is 1.77 metres. This measurement was recorded at 8 o'clock on the 28th of November 2012. The typical river length level range for this location is between 0.4 metres and 1.46 metres. The highest river level record at this location is 3.95 metres and the river level reached 3.47 metres on the 21st of August 2007. Up to 30 millimetres of rain was expected in some areas in the West Midlands. In the morning, the environmental agency called several homes in risk of flooding to advise them on precautions to take in order to ensure that their home was not flooded. But what measures are being taken to ensure that the flooding does not reach the houses behind? These bags are an example of how we are protecting ourselves from the floods at the moment. Now, these are bags of sand and they're used to prevent the water from getting indoors or at least as much as it, as it can and these were supplied to houses that had a high risk of flooding. The county's fire service said it had received more than 40 calls from people stuck in flood water, with three people rescued near Alchester after their car was swept down a swollen ford. 75 flood warnings and 50 flood alerts were put in place in the Midlands, especially in Northamptonshire. The sheep that lived in the fields next to the river were relocated to another field in order to protect them against the flood. So, is this flood the worst that we've had so far? Or are there worse that are going to come, and worse that have already come? For instance, the 2007 flood was certainly more catastrophic than this one. We don't know, but are the effects of climate change going to make this flood not only reach to that level, but all the way up to the house and perhaps even submerge the house as well. We can't be sure of what happens in the future, whether this is due to climate change, whether it's due to a simpler process such as El Nino, but one thing remains is, is that humans need to find a way of coping with this.